हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम ऑल आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल आवर लिसनर्स द सीकर्स टू पार्टिसिपेट गिव योर कमेंट्स आस्क योर क्वेश्चंस दिस इज अ वेरी इनफॉर्मल प्लेटफॉर्म इन द सेंस वी आर ऑल इन ट्रैवलिंग इन द सेम बोट so we don't want anybody to see as if it is a uh, you are differentiated from this there are two levels of course swami ji is in a different level but we are all in the same level so we will seek the guidance from him <laughs> swami ji welcome to the third episode of ours um, you know it was so touching the the absence of otherness uh, the, the the topic is is hair raising it brings up uh, gurus simple especially when you think of mata ji and the way she could look at everybody so so beautifully uh, it, it is very difficult for us how do we practice this sadhana how do we bring in every time to see everyone as that that amsham of god you know how do we try to bring keep doing this on a regular basis somebody tells us awareness suddenly yes suppose somebody says i am also part of god same god no then immediately yes 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 we realize it but otherwise we behave in a different manner how can we keep improving ourselves in this journey hari om as uh, you said first this is a collective effort to explore collectively so many inputs are being given to us by the same power who prompts us now to bring out these questions and he gives us some clues through whatever he made us to know and so at the same time this is not the end of it always we should know it's a comma it's a comma it's comma never a full stop so we keep on exploring exploring with what exploring not somebody's experience our own experience so this is the first uh, uh, thought that came to us to share with you all secondly when you talk about uh, absence of otherness which comes out from identifying the common denominator in anything and everything say for example we just now the thought you know uh, we are going in the uh, we are in up north india somebody we see wearing a dhoti and walking what do we immediately say i think he is from south india i think he is from kerala something like that we immediately move towards him and ask him where are you from so anything that is common in us is instrumental in providing some affinity touching and kindling some affinity very true so that means there is an indirect effort on our part for example language suppose somebody uh, says uh, uh, malayalam or tamil when we go to a foreign country or in a, in, a, in, a, in any part of the north india immediately we will ask enge endu vare everna verna to that because we, we even in train you know we used to feel that yes. so something that is common in us if it is identified a, an effort unknown effort is made on our part to become closer correct so that means that which is common that which is common till till that moment suppose you are traveling by train you would not have seen him after exchanging all these things and after one or two stations you become so close you will leave all your belongings under his care and you will go to the outside the absence of otherness where does it take so the moment we try to understand something that is common in us the curtain that separates us from others maybe for a short time agreed maybe for a short time but it god gives us this teachings So try to identify that is something common in all of us. Oh, that is the lesson, first lesson. And how do we do that? So one way could be where do we come from? Normally we say we come from our parents, but later on a little little reflection will reveal. that they also have their parents they also have their parents so they can't be the first cause they have they are only instrumental cause later on we will slowly understand that 
So where from it started? Say all of you might be cultivating a vegetable garden in your terrace or something like that. So when you put a seed, it sprouts. You know this. Uh, the, it sprouts, become the seedling, then a plant, then a flowering, then the fruition. No, you are not looking at the fruition. You know right from the beginning how it has come. So there is an origin there. Source is there. Similarly, if I and you are existing today, there must be a source. Initially, we identified that source to our parents, but now a little reflection reveals that they were also born to. Because the seed which you have sown in your uh, uh, vegetable garden, it has come from another. Okay. Uh, so first, first you know, first green uh, chilies, where first tomato, first beans. When we don't get answers, whenever we you know we come across a word for which we don't know the meaning, we go to the dictionary because we know dictionary is a, a verified truth. So similarly. Our scriptures are the verified truths. We believe that. Our culture enables us to believe. So in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says, Bija Maam Sarva Bhutanam. I am the eternal seed of everything. Though we are unable to understand it rationally, intellectually, we accept. Because we now know everything we have learned in this, starting with some faith, you know, we believe somebody. So we, there, there is no reason why we should disbelieve. Of course, not to stop with the belief, we also verify. Ranganathan Swamiji used to say, they are all verifiable truth, but you have to verify by yourself. Okay. Then only it becomes yours. Otherwise, right. it is a knowledge, not an experience. We will do that in our journey. Always we should know we are trying to understand the absence of otherness in the day-to-day -day life. That's all. It's not an, it's not an intellectual exercise. Correct. So the, uh, that unknown force, when he said Bija Maam Sarva Bhutana, that unknown force X, that is our beginning. So I was in my mother's womb when the, uh, the father and mother were the instrumental cause and when the, be, uh, when, the, when the seed was in my mother's womb. Now I know intellectually that it is that unknown force is the cross. So later on I also feel that during the nine and a half months, the same power blessed us with this 200 odd organs with which we are now functioning. We did not do anything. The present me and mine in us, which arrogates everything, has no role either in the BGM level or on the organs giving. Later on, when I came out of the mother, mother's womb, what I need is the moment I land, I need air to breathe. Right. Air to breathe, water to drink, earth to exist, space to move about, 98.4 degree temperature to keep me alive. I did not do that. Sun, metals, minerals, gases, rains, vegetables, pulses, fruits. I have not done anything. So the same power, when it, when it uh, caused my birth in this world, has ensured that all these basic fundamentals are also provided. True. I did not do it, so we can put it as it has been provided. Correct. And we are attributing to that unknown for because we don't know how, how my BGM came. Achha. Then as we started growing, we are watching ourselves, we started demanding creature comforts one by one. Now, you suppose we take a list right from you know the moment you get up in your bed, your room, bed sheet, pillow, rim, brush, paste, soap, wash basin, commode, idli, sambar, dosha, upma. Language, education, field of profession, I have not done anything. Correct. Suddenly you feel the, the other one, whatever is basically needed for my existence was provided, we can put it in the word Mother Nature, the same origin. And now we find when there was no uh, laptop, when there was no this particular software was there. All the comforts. It, it came through a person. That means it stuck to him. 
then I start realizing everything has come from a selected, not from everybody, a selected team of people who have been assigned by that same power to meet the requirements of this creation. And it has been going on right from my seed level up to this moment. Everything has been, he has been providing, providing, providing. And when I know that nothing I have done and everything has been provided that power through Mother Nature and society, everything, when there is no language in the world, he made somebody to think about A to Z. Apart from the scripture, he made them to think about conjugation of verb, how to use it. Indefinite, present continuous, perfect, perfect continuous, active voice, passive voice. See the wonderful way, innocent two letters, when they join together, how does it convey a different meaning? We normally don't, uh, we take everything as granted, we don't apply our mind. Absolutely. So when nothing is mine, how can I develop the possessiveness? Otherness, otherness comes only when... Yes. Uh, I possess. <laughs> I, I possess. I possess, I don't possess, you know, this is the one which says. So now I know intellectually, not at the moment the session is over, we are back to our old thing. <laughs> but at least now we will start with intellectually. Intellectual conviction should be there. Slowly it will percolate. Why, you know, right from our young age till this moment, probably this would not have been given to us. Right, our education system, our parents, our friends, our elders, they have been uh, unknowingly uh, attributing every cause to, uh, you look very nice, so I feel, no, I am already, I, I am body. You are intelligent, you are shrewd, you are, so that may again, no, I start with me, it's end with me. Everything I start with me, end with me, I never have been given an opportunity to know that there is a higher power, there is an unknown factor which has been guiding me, which is behind everything. So that is why we intellectually understand, but unable to uh, hold down right. to it, hold down to it. And for which we some need, later on we will find we need some, some discipline by which every day we try to hammer this truth. Achha, now, so the, suddenly I re realize I am what I am because of the factors other than me. And this power, whatever it has given, it is never given to a specified beneficiary. Everything is available for everybody. The air is available for everybody. Earth is available for everybody. Water is available for everybody. Sun is available for everybody. All fruits, vegetables, everything is available. Rain is available. Oh, 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 oh. And the, person, like that. And the person who discovered, invented, in, in, innovated, he also did not specify the beneficiary. Everything is for... And but what I am doing? I am thinking about me and mine, me and mine. And so constant hammering, constant reflecting on these things, will, will it not help me to move closer to the creation? That realization. Ah, but look, anything that we handle, when we take the brush, we remember. No. In, he gave me a body, he gave me teeth, so he knows that every day we will be eating so many things. Naturally, it has to be cleaned. So he prompted somebody to think a device by which it can be cleaned. He did not specify the beneficiary. I am doing it. Oh. So right from the bee, right from the bed sheet, right from the pillow, right from the uh, paste, brush, soap, or anything that we use, it is slowly reminding us, hey, look here, how they have been thinking about me to be. Never me to me. Ah. So when I was concentrating on me to me, the otherness was also developing simultaneously. So we have found uh, Mahatma celebrates whoever whom we admire. What is it that has struck to us? Really, you know, they are me to me. They are accessible to everybody. They are public properties. Whatever they have uh, in, uh, brought out, it is available for everybody. There is no otherness, there is no otherness, there is no otherness. So there are two methods. When we know that everybody owes the same source, we have all come from that. 
that will reduce the otherness. So in Mataji's case, she was able to maintain this, even when she sees an inanimate thing. She used to say, this is also Papa. She named God as Papa, the Bijam. So she said, this is Papa. This is Papa. This is Papa. So sure. Because it has come from him, from that source. So, sure. any so objects, situations, persons, all these, she is always well established that they come from the same. One method. Another method when we started thinking, you know, we were talking about the planting a seed. Correct. Of course, you are planting a seed. It has got its own shape. For example, yes. there is a green chili, you know, very tiny little one or tomato. Correct. When we plant and when it sprouts, the tap root, the feeder roots, later on, the stem, the branches, the leaves, and the flower, all are not looking alike. Yeah. If you see the photo of the seed, this one is different. But everything has come from that seed. In that tiny little seed, this potential thing, this wow. diverse manifestations. It is there in a latent form. Apparently, the seed is different from the stem. Apparently, the seed is different from the root. Apparently, it is uh, different from the branches and the leaf and the flower. But it has all come from that. So the oh. otherness, otherness when, we, when we disconnect to the seed, otherness is there. Oh. The, the, the branch can arrogate, I am independent. The stem can arrogate, I am independent. The flower can <laughs> arrogate, it can be. But the moment it becomes aware that it is all, all these things have come from their source, suddenly, oh, we are all part and parcel of the stupendous soul. <laughs> this could be another method to get over this other. Amazing. It, oh, it, it's, it's just, just one, one, uh, one. Uh, <laughs> even now, when uh, anything you start, we start looking at it. That though diverse in its appearance, it has all come from the same source. When we deal with that, so suppose the branch of the tree, so similarly, you know, the you and I uh, individually, individually all. When, when we look at it individually, we are independent. But the moment you and I start going back to the origin, we jamam sarvabhodana. So from one split, it, oh. it, requ it requires a lot of struggle, no doubt. To oh, it is, it is. You, I, I think you you decoded it so beautifully, Swamiji, today. In a sense, uh, it, it's, it's, I agree, it, it is a constant reminder which we require to understand that uh, Bijamam Swami Bhutanam is a very powerful statement. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, because it is a very powerful statement and we need to be one more reinforcing. Thing. Yes. To sustain this train of thought. Yeah. One practical method could be, each one has to try. Yeah. We start, we start uh, uh, tutoring ourselves. Nothing is irrelevant, nothing is unimportant, nothing is insignificant. Wow. Nobody is irrelevant, nobody is unimportant, nobody is insignificant. Because everything has come from that. So when we handle, you know, nothing we will do in a half a third manner. We recognize, even as a broomstick, you know, it has got its own role. The one which we think, ah, it's all right. No, the, we will not have. It. And uh, another four mantra is everything we handle with a touch of love, handle with a touch of perfection, handle it with a touch of uh, dedication, handle it with a touch of gratitude. Because everything he has given. We'll take up that again. Thank you so much, Swamiji, for this. Touch of love. Touch of, uh, anything you. that we handle at yes. home, in the office, with friends. It is not to be reserved in any place, anywhere, anywhere at any time. Whatever we handle, we, we try to handle it with a touch of love because it has come from the same source. Touch of perfection because whole sold. And uh, uh, you and I are enjoying many things because it has come out of perfection, excellence. And then this 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 software 
how many times the person who was prompted, you know, trial and error, trial and error, trial, and error, trial. when the perfection became full, it came out in the form of his software, which is useful by anybody. Unknown, he is reaching out, we don't know him. And that is another beauty. We don't know him. And he also doesn't know, but he is reaching out and we have that uh, unknown person. This is created for the week. Absence of otherness. Absence of otherness. More Thank can you be, so more much. Can be developed. More can be developed. Yes, we will. We will. This itself is a very strong message for today and the way we could actually practically uh, try and get into the journey of understanding that, that source and looking at everything with that divinity and with the possibility of uh, saying that this comes from the same source and also the fact that so important that fact that uh, we are nothing we have not created anything it is he who has given us on a platter everything uh, thank you so much Swami. thanks a lot thank you